Welcome back, humans, to Minecraft. It's your boy, Weasel. And I have a special guest for you tonight, or whenever you're watching this. I Who don't know. is it? Well, like, you would like to know, wouldn't you? I would. Oh, yeah. No, I'm sure you would. Um, I'm really curious. Well, maybe... It, Maybe I'll reveal it in a little bit. Oh, not not okay. now. We're, we're just going to like uh, play along for a little bit. But also, um, I'm here. Oh, yeah. Lauren's here, too. <laughs> oh, great. Now, now people are going to think there's going to be a third person here. Oh, God, there's no. There's Wheatley. There's well, you gave it away. You, you gave it away. There is a chicken in the room. Oh, yeah. That's not, you know what? That's not, well, how that sounds like? Like, there's a chicken in the room. It's like, um, there's like a... Oh, what do you call it? This, 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 it's this. like a Chinese proverb or something. Yes. You exactly. open a fortune cookie and it's like, there is a chicken in the room. Yes. There's a traitor amongst us. <laughs> there's a chicken amongst us. All right. So, yeah, I have I've, I've waifu. Yeah, I've been told to be here just to make commentary while Sven does stuff. Yes, people were asking. By That's people, nice I mean of you. Just, well... Uh, the ones watching, they're like, oh, yeah. Lord. Well, that's nice of the people watching to actually want to hear my voice. How how do you how do how does that make you feel? I mean, just having like a little fan base. Duh. I mean, I'm surprised that anybody gives a shit about what I have to say because <laughs> normally Sven's the only one. I guess my mom cares what I say. Oh yeah, no. I mean, a lot of people care what you say. <laughs> Like I, I think that's not that's not true that people don't care what you say. I guess not. Um, but yeah, we are uh, we're playing some uh, Minecraft. Lauren's just sitting in and just uh, she does not know a whole lot. I watched a couple of your episodes, but I uh, to be honest, like I the way that I consume YouTube is to have a video on while I'm doing other shit. Yeah. So I, I'm not watching anything. Um, so I know that you have. Uh, you had a little town, and I forget what you called it. <laughs> Fletcher's Frontier. Fle that's right. Yeah, and yes. I, you were. Uh, you had some dogs. I don't know if you named them. Oh I, no, I have not named them all yet. One oh, is named okay. Enrico. That's oh, that's that's, yeah. the, that's the only one. But now, um, I actually am. Wow. Yeah, this is the world I have explored <laughs> Holy so shit, far. That's huge. Uh, it's just a little bit. I haven't really gone very far. It's like the entire European continent. <laughs> Well, not quite, but we are here at this little village that, uh, that's the first village that I found when I started playing, and it's, villages are weird when they spawn on the world, because yeah. they will, there's like, all right, we're going to put a village here. Oh, there's a huge damn chasm? chasm? It's like, oh, we're still going to spawn you. You see this, like, there's pathways from the village down here, huh. there's houses on a hill, like. You telling me you wouldn't want to live near a chasm? Oh. I mean, if your world had basically no um, architectural physics, like in real life, if you could just build a floating tower somewhere, I would totally have a floating tower, oh. like a, a floating glass house over a chasm. How oh, cool would that absolutely. be? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. If um. structural engineering had no say here. <laughs> In wow. this world, we do things differently. Yeah. Um, yeah, this place still needs a name. Uh, I asked my comments for it, but uh, since uh, you know they're not there yet, um, in having watched them, I don't know what it's going to be called. No idea. But it's it's a weird one. I was working before we did that. I was actually working on setting up a rail system. Um, yeah, I saw here. some of that. Yeah, this one, uh, I, tr I I built it earlier, like, let me show you on the map, and it went all the way over here, and I tried to find where the village was, and I apparently must uh. have, like, walked past it a million times. So, yeah, no, this is this is over here now. I'm getting this crazy depth perception thing going on, because the way we have it oriented right now, I'm to Sven's left, his mic arm is going across my field of vision right in front of the screen, <laughs> so my eyes keep trying to focus between the mic arm and the game, and I'm oh. getting this crazy, like, magic eye thing going on, oh, you no. know, where you're focusing on the, <laughs> that's fine, don't worry about it. That was just kind of funny, because I'm just like, it's like, wow, Well, I can see the ends of the universe from here, you know? <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I want to be able to see the ends of the universe. I don't know that I'd want to see that. Yeah, it's probably going to drive you crazy. It's like uh, when you see... It's like cosmic horror. Yes. It's like a human mind can't comprehend this. You're, you're just going to go insane. <laughs> How do you feel about standing right now? Because this is probably the first time that you've recorded a video yeah. while yeah, standing. Yeah, Sven has a standing desk. I don't know if you've told them about it, have I you? I might have mentioned um, it. I'm not pretty Pretty sure. sweet standing desk. I, I can totally see the appeal to these. Like when I'm I, I was just like in my room painting miniatures, like, you know, hunched over my desk, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> 
I could see making a... those exact sounds. Yeah. Shall I point out? Oh, speaking of sounds, I really wish that we could capture on video somehow, or you know, audio the sound that our rooster makes when he's preening himself, because he's got a whole bunch of respiratory infections going on, and his nose is all clogged. We're treating him for it, but he's still. Yeah. So when he preens himself, he can't breathe out of his mouth. So he's trying to breathe out of his nose, and you hear him go like, like it's the little, weirdest. Yeah, a little Donald Duck kind of. Yeah. I can't do a Donald Duck. Wish oh. I could. <sighs> Donald Duck is weird because you just have to so contract your like throat. It's it's not pleasant. Yeah, I, I couldn't wow. even attempt it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Yeah, I'm just I'm just getting phlegm just thinking oh, about I it. Oh, I had a grandpa who was good at that. Oh, look at that! I, I, I have like multiple had multiple grandpas because when you when you have like you know your your grandma gets divorced and then marries another guy, but that guy's been around just as long as the the real grandpa. Then you just have multiple grandpas. Well, let me let let, let me educate you. Everyone has multiple grandpas. That's yeah. kind of how that well, works. Well, most people have two grandpas. But you know what would be cute as shit? If one person's parents were were both dudes and another person's parents were both dudes and those people got married and had a kid, then the kid would have four grandpas. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, gr- uh, grand stepfathers, I guess, would also work. You could just yeah. have plenty of those, like four days or, yeah, yeah. I guess you can have a whole ton of those, especially yeah. um, if what's the what's the word? It's the it's the dude version of polygamy. Polygyny? I, no, po- I have never even heard that. There's a word for multiple husbands because polygamy, I think, is no. I think that's just like uh, multiple yeah, partners in a relationship. But yeah, polygyny is multiple oh. wives. Interesting. I forget this. This conversation went weird. So anyway, I like butterflies. <laughs> and tell me all about your butterflies. Oh, I mean, that's fine. Uh, I have. I planted a parsley plant because I wanted to attract black swallowtail butterflies, and we got caterpillars. Parsley isn't is that exciting? Awesome. Yeah, and I like parsley. It's tasty. I that's what not... I. That's what I can contribute to this conversation. Oh, I have a very important question for everybody in the chat. How does cilantro taste to you? Does it taste like a tasty herb or does it taste like fucking dishwasher <laughs> detergent? Because you know how some people like licorice tastes delicious or it tastes like soap or uh, for other people. Root beer. Well, that's a cultural thing, I think, because you, you said that uh, in Germany, your mouthwash typically tasted had that flavor to yeah. it. Whereas in the U.S., mouthwash is typically mint flavored. Yeah. Um. So that might be a cultural thing because to the rest of us, root beer probably just tastes like another kind of soda in in the U.S. That is, but yeah, there there's just differences in in people's taste buds, and um, for some people, cilantro tastes great, and to other people, it tastes like soap. And I'm one of those people that it tastes like soap too, huh. and so does parsley to a degree. So I'm curious about how many people in the chat either love or hate cilantro. Hmm. Good question. By the way, this is not live. Chat means comment section. Oh, yeah. That's what I mean. I yeah. Mean, yeah. I didn't figure. Uh, even if there was a live chat, I wouldn't be able to see it. I'm blind as shit. That's true. Um, let me pause this here right now. <laughs> and we're back. That 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 was that quick. Just... I'm over here now. <laughs> can you yes. hear the difference? Yes, I can hear the difference. <laughs> no, um, uh, I can hear. I the... moved to the other side, so the mic boom isn't in my face. Sven is significantly taller than I am. Yes. Not excessive, but in order for the mic to be at his level, it has to be at my eyeball level. Well, excessive <laughs> is kind of like a relative thing. Like That's true. You know, for an ant, the height difference would be very excessive. It's like, he's what? He's like That's true. I mean, 10,000 times my size bigger than you? I have a friend from high school who was the tiniest human being, like just adorably tiny. And she married a guy who's like six foot four. And they had a baby. And I, I Wheatley's on my microphone. That's fine. And I couldn't comprehend how tiny human could fit the baby of a larger human. Oh, I thought this was going a completely different way. No, just, I mean, she, <laughs> like, she was like two whole heads shorter than him. And it's like, that baby's got to be big, right? Is that how babies work? I have no idea. I don't think so. I think, I mean, a baby can't, huge babies can, like, happen anytime. Wheatley, do you have a fucking problem? He's... <laughs> 
I don't know if that's picking up on the mic. He's, no, it's he's not. on the mic trying to get close to my face and probably gouge out my eyeballs. I don't want it. Here. That's a sign. That's how he shows love Do and you affection. Want apple juice? Come here. That is also how I show love and affection by gouging someone's eyeballs out. With an ice no. cream ball you thing. Can, you can get off of me. Lauren doesn't have, sadly, Lauren doesn't have a headphone because I, women shouldn't wear headphones. No, um, because I don't have my UR44 up here, which has two headphone jacks. That's um, fine. So I just have them on and I just realized like, man, she couldn't hear the fox right now because there was a no, fox nearby. Okay. And it's like, yeah, he. <laughs> yes, and it Emmett, Emmett did not like that. Uh, yes, Fen was offering to give me the headphones, but then I figured, you know, if there's audio cues and stuff. This is this is a pretty view here with the with yeah. the nice guy and everything. I like the 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 lighting and atmosphere mods you have. Yeah, it's just uh, cause, optifying. Yeah, because base game Minecraft looks. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I actually got used to like the uh, low textures. I had like a higher resolution texture pack, which was nice. But then one time I like turned it off because it was missing some newer stuff. And then I was just playing with this one. I was like, huh, turns out I like this look with the yeah. with the. Um, uh, so this is with the, the higher resolution textures or the lower ones? No, this is just the original textures. Oh, and you like it better that way than yes, the high res. Yes, but obviously I also have this like lightning mod, like Optifine on this. So Sometimes high res textures actually kind of just look noisy. Oh, like yeah. the Skyrim HD texture pack, in some ways it was just like too much. Yes. Because if you're going to have higher textures, you also just have to have higher detail in the geometry because otherwise it just looks like noise. Yeah, this is why I told you you needed the sound. <laughs> I'm just hearing, it's middle of the night and I'm hearing like, Wah. I couldn't hear anything. I just saw Sven like, what, what, what? Oh, I may not rest because there's monsters nearby. Fine, be like this. Uh, so yeah, no, we build our bridge, which is great. Very nice. Yeah, it's a nice little little bridge that I built. Um, and we're going to have to put rail cards on that. But for that, we're going to need iron. Like, this game is just a whole slew of like, oh, we want to do this, then we're going to do that, and then we're going to do this. And then it's just always something to do in this game. Which... So that's kind of like real life. <laughs> it's like, I want this, but I don't have a room to put it, so i got to get a bigger house. But well, then in order to get a bigger house, I need a better job. And in order for that, I need more experience. And I need, <laughs> you know, and then it just goes forever. Well, yes, but in real life, you can't just like, you know, oh, I need like more room and therefore a bigger, like, you can't do everything immediately. Whereas in Minecraft, you can do things immediately. So it's just like the worst game for people with like, ADHD because like ooh next thing next thing next thing without ever finishing a thing. Yeah. Okay, okay I need to like like run away. This is not good. Too many dudes. Too, Too many min dicks on the dance floor. Yes. I'm so glad. I'm so glad we're bringing like the Lorne lingo back. I mean that was just a flight of the Concord song. Oh yeah, no, but like I the word dicks, I like I rarely say it. Oh really? It just doesn't come up when I talk about Minecraft, which is fine. It's Yeah, just... how PG are you trying to be on your oh, channel Oh, no, now? I'm not trying to be PG at not? all. Not? Okay, good. Fuck that. I, I get, I get a kid. I mean, I'm obviously not trying to, like, be, like, just swearing for the sake of swearing, but no, I will I will say that stuff, too. Yeah. Um, oh, this is an empty house. It's just a, a jail cell. Uh, it's a, there's a cartographer table on there. I don't know what that That's what means. the cartographer's house looks like because they never sleep, they never eat. They, they just, just do cartography, cartography all day. All the time. I can't sleep because there's monsters nearby. I'm in a house. I'm safe. What do you want from me? Uh, now i got to murder them. I should give you a little tour of my house, I feel. Sure. Ah, Jesus. You wow. are the worst. Okay, I can sleep now, I think. Yeah, I can. Nice. Very good. Um, no, I don't try to be PG at all. Um, personally, I get a kick. Oh, there's a second level. Is that where he has his bed? I don't know what it is, but there's something in here where every time you talk, it resonates and rings a little. Oh, no. Are you hearing that? No, I okay, don't. Okay, yeah, because you have headphones on. Yeah. It's, just, it, it, it's, like, it's like the sound of like the wet finger around a, a glass, oh. you know, where it's like every time we talk, I hear like a boing. You know? <laughs> hmm. I wonder what that would be. It could be the window and the frame, something like this. I'm going to have to put more foam up. Uh, Always the fine. foam. There's no, so much foam. No, I don't think foam. it's echoing. I think it's just resonating with something metallic. Oh, that's entirely possible. I don't know what that would be. Maybe it's this fan. Hey, hold on. Oh, no, that's probably not it. Maybe it's just... my 
the bottle that I have. <laughs> I have no idea. It's fine. I don't think it's going to pick up on the audio capture. Ah, it's just... Nah. Nah. Go away. I, I, I guess I have very ah. sensitive ear holes mm. or something. Okay. I'm, I'm just dealing with uh, this little thread here. Go go away. Nobody nobody likes you. Eh. Eh. No. Anyways, as I was saying, I actually kind of get a kick out of um, people telling me. I haven't seen this in a comment section in forever. Yeah. But um, on a live stream that I did, I forgot what I was playing. I think Cooking Simulator. I said shit. Yeah. And somebody was so upset, like, my mom is watching too. She's going to, like, forbid me from watching you if you keep saying those things. And they were very upset. And I'm just Aww. like, uh, I don't know what to do because I don't give a fuck. I mean... It's a the option problem. to wear headphones is ever present. Yes. I mean, well, there's a good chance that he wasn't or she wasn't allowed to wear headphones. Oh, man. Like, no, you have to like, I, I need to watch what you're watching. Yeah. I need to put that's, by the way, the wrong kind of parenting. Yeah. You know, I think that that just kind of breeds rebellion. My My parents were pretty chill about. I mean, they let me keep the door to my room closed all the time to have privacy, which I appreciated because I I ended up using that privacy for pro like productive stuff. Like I, I, you know, I started learning Photoshop when I was in like middle school and like uh, Photoshop 4 was the first one I used, which was the first Photoshop that even had layers. That and gives not, away how old yeah, you are. Yeah, not CS 4, I mean, <laughs> just Photoshop 4. Um, I, I mean... There's probably a few things that give away how old I am. Like what? I don't know. Being married to me? Uh, not necessarily. Well, it gives away that you're, I guess, at least 18, I guess? Probably. I mean, we own a house. I guess that says, like, maybe 19 plus, because there are some crazy fucking 19-year-olds that own houses. I guess. I, I don't mean, know you where... Could, you could own a house at the age of, like, five. You, had, no. you could inherit a house at the age of one. I mean, I don't could, know how that works. I it, mean... It, I don't think you actually get, like, it has to go to, like, a trust or mm, something. Fair point. Um, I don't know either. Yeah. Anyway, I just before I uh, do any more of this, I think I'm going to go down into the chasm to mine some stuff. So... I did always find it weird that you can... You can rent an apartment at 18 or younger if you get a parent to co-sign. But you can't, at least in the U.S., you can't rent a car until 25. It's like I feel like you could do so much more destruction with the apartment oh, yeah. than the car. But then again, I guess apartments don't move at 90 miles an hour. That <laughs> might be different. Yeah, that's probably uh, one of the reasons. One has like more fire hazards, though. and <sighs> But uh, then again, you can, set, you can set something on fire without owning it. So, That's you, true. Yeah, you don't need to own a place. You just need to live somewhere to set... You don't even need to live somewhere to set it on fire. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, hey, not saying you should do that. Not encouraging sitting... No, if you set someone else's house on fire, it's it's arson. If you set your own house on fire, it's insurance fraud. <laughs> yeah. Well, only if you claim the insurance. That's true. I don't even know... Actually, I don't even know if you just said, like, okay, I'm just going to burn my house down. I'm not insured or anything. I just want to burn my house down because I feel like it. Is that still arson? Is that still... Because are you committing a you, felony? Because it's I your place. I think you could still be charged for endangering other people depending on how close their houses oh, are yes. to yours. Uh, yes, of um, course. Also, you, you, you can probably not do it because you didn't get a permit from the fire department, that kind of situation. <laughs> what was that? Emmett's trying to perch on your chair. Oh, is he? Yeah. I thought he was trying to... <laughs> oh, okay. Chicken our, likes to perch on chair. Our chicken's in here doing chicken stuff. <laughs> chicken stuff. Ooh, I should get some um, obsidian to make some sk crazy portals. Wow. Yeah. Um, let's uh, dive off the water. Yes, water physics are great in this game. Yeah, that's pretty wong. Oh, it's su they're super wong. You can take four blocks of water and turn them into infinite water. It's great how that works. Oh, he, he flew over to you. Okay. That's, yeah, that's all no good. wheelies with me. All right. Um, all right. Let's put... I guess let's just uh, mine some blocks away. I'm going to get some obsidian because I'm most certainly going to build more portals. And since it's already here and all practical, 
yeah. Has my presence been beneficial? Have I contributed? Oh, yes, absolutely. I'm feeling like way less worried about what I'm saying. Like in the last video, I talked about how it helps to have a topic to talk about. Just, just anything. And while you record, you know, when you record gameplay, you don't sit there before and it's like, okay, today I'm going to talk about this, that, and that. Sometimes you might, but for the most part, yeah, that's not a thing you do. Yeah. So um, you, as you record... Um, and there's nothing that you can talk about in the game. You're looking for topics to talk about, like, you know, what happened recently in your life or cilantro. you name it. Yeah, or cilantro. Exactly. Not that cilantro happened recently in my life. That was just a topic. Cilantro can happen to anyone. I, there better be answers in the comments. There needs to I, be awareness. Know. Cilantro awareness. <laughs> anyway, so you're trying to come up with things as you're talking and that sometimes feels like you're just grasping at something you're trying to hold on to something for dear life just to be able to talk about it yeah. so having someone with you to like pick up that moment when you're like i'm done saying the things that i plan to say and oh that doesn't work um i have now someone who's like able to start a conversation and i, think, I can join in that helps a lot i think this is why two player game channels work so well or not two player but like two person Two commentators. Like if, two commentators, like just somebody watching. Yeah. You know, Sven likes watching a Monster Factory. I like watching Game Grumps and like My Bim Bam represents. Yeah. And uh Yeah, you just have somebody to bounce stuff off of. Um Is it okay to have a man crush on Griffin McElroy? Of course it is. Okay. Why would it not be? I I mean It's okay to have any kind of crush as long true. as you don't get creepy about it. That's true, but he's a married man. Oh uh, well, you can still have a crush on him. True. True, true. You're, yeah. not, you're not gonna be a home wrecker. I'm not crushing a lot, but yeah, that's 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 where it gets me. It's just <laughs> just when he like vores that banana, it's a good time. Oh, that's my favorite clip. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just look up banana vor. That's all you need to know. No, I'm worried about what other stuff might come up with. Oh yeah, no, don't don't just Google vor. Just don't on do it do it on YouTube and yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that went a weird Is direction. Is that zombie just watching you? Yeah, he's, I think, I mean, he wants to go to me, but water has, like, this tendency to make you float in the direction. Like, oh. um, like because the water comes down and you're just being, like, floating away. So he just has no control over his life anymore? Exactly. Or his he's, life or whatever? He's being forced, he floats over there. Down here, All we all float. Um, so, yeah, he can't, he can he just can't move. That's essentially it. Now he starts to move. <laughs> So, ow! I'm just gonna murder him. I'm gonna, I mean, free him from the burden of being a zombie. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. This That's is... humane. I guess. If I, I were I... a Zambo, I'd, I'd prefer to not be a Zambo. Yeah, it, I, depends you know, on the, be, be, what kind really of zombie. It really depends on the universe, because yes. in, some, in some Zambo universes, the person is still... There. Like, it's questionable whether or not the person, the person is still, like... Yeah. Sentient. Where it's not just you know. black and white, like, oh yeah, no, this one's gone. Yeah. All right, I think this works. Now I can work on the, um, I can put some light down and I can mine that obsidian. Yes, I could produce obsidian by myself. I'm just looking for something to do while we talk about silly things. Our dog would like everyone to know that my feet are delicious. <laughs> yes, that's Marley for you. just loves licking feet. And it's gross, but it makes him so happy, so I just deal with it. I don't even mind the feet. It's when he starts going further and further up the leg. It's like, okay, listen. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just fine. on fire. That, oh, that, no. I made mistakes. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll be fine, you I will. think. I'm just going to have to eat some steak, because that's how you stop. There's water literally in front of me, and I'm just like dealing with the fire. It's like, oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, that would do the trick. Have you ever seen the Nether in Minecraft? I have, yeah. Oh, okay. I I don't for everybody watching. I don't really play Minecraft. It was yeah. just never, you know. I it's not the gameplay. I think it's the art style that I just could never get into because I'm a graphics whore, <laughs> and I don't like the cubes and the blocks and the whatnot. Um, because I do enjoy like similar games like oh Jesus, like Seven Days to Die. Seven Days to Die, I like a lot. Yeah. Um. It's weird that that works, that you could just put rock in front of lava and... Well, I mean, wouldn't that work in real life, too, if there's a... I, I guess not... It would not... eventually melt the rock, probably. Oh, yes, that's true. But Minecraft would be very problematic if you couldn't do that, because... Yeah. Yeah. 
everything would be gone eventually. Yep. Anyway, um, sorry, what were we talking? Oh, yeah, the, the block. You like uh, Seven Days to Die. I do, yeah. Even Let's... though that's kind of block-based building, crafting, survival. Yes. Um, a totally different art style, but it's got a little bit more of a realistic touch to it. Yes. Um, and I think the gameplay, the leveling system and everything's pretty good, too. Oh, yeah. No, um, I we, we enjoy always a good amount of um, Seven Days to Die. I just don't like the combat in it, I think. Yeah. It's Seven Days to Die. It's a little is, weak. Yeah, the combat is like, whoops, where 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 it's lacking. Yeah. The lacking department is where the combat is. Oh, I got a burp. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. I, I didn't really. It just like diffused, uh, you know. Oh, no. You know you where it doesn't come it? up? It just gets absorbed into your head uh, somewhere. Oh. Oh, man. That's like the sneeze that doesn't happen where you like you feel like you need to sneeze. Yeah. And then it doesn't happen. And then it, it feels like you're just reabsorbing the sneeze into your head. That's and it's so just, dissatisfying. Yes. That must be what blue balls feel like. No. Except. Absolutely not. Well, have you ever. Yes, I had blue balls. No, I wasn't going to say that. Have you ever part sneezed? And it was enough to exert incredible force on your sinuses, but not enough to escape. So then it just feels like that feeling of when soda goes up your nose or when you jump into a pool and water goes up your nose. Oh, man. Which I haven't had I, that happen in a while. Me I haven't, neither. I'm glad about that. I, have, I mean, I like swimming. I don't love chlorine. Um, uh, a lot of people uh, don't. Here's another question for the humans in the comments. Oh, yeah. Who can open their eyes underwater? Because I can't. I can. I just can't. You can or you can't? Well, yes, I can. It's not pleasant, but it also depends what kind of water it is. Like, pool water, less pleasant than uh, just... I don't like being underwater in the first place. Mm. I don't think... Like, evolution has, I guess, trained me or, like, like conditioned me to avoid being underwater. Yeah. Yeah. Same. You're probably right. Yeah, I mean that that goes back to the whole like you know I don't like flying because I kind of feel like it's not where I'm supposed to be. So I I feel like <laughs> oh ju ju justified and not caring too much about that. Yeah. Up oh, up. Oh, oh, nice save. Yeah, I like I like living dangerously. That yeah, I like swimming, but I like being above the water. I I don't love. I man, I had to take swimming lessons as a kid, and what happened was I accidentally got placed into a class that was too high level for me. So I was still wearing goddamn floaties. And uh, they had put me into, like, the intermediate kids class where we they were doing diving. Oh. And I didn't even know how to swim. I mean, perfect. You're perfect so, for diving. Uh, yeah, if, just, you're, if you can't swim, you can dive. That's true. You're just not coming back up. Uh, and it was at, like, the YMCA, and I remember being on the diving board and, like, the teachers down there, like, just Come on, and, wow. and I'm like sitting there crying. I Aww. was just placed in the wrong, the wrong class. Um, That's very sad. But I, I, I did end up liking swimming just above water. You know, doing the whatever you call the frog stroke. I hate the one where you have to like, where they would teach you in swim lessons. You'd have the paddle board out in front of you, and they'd be do, doing the breathing exercise where you you turn your head below water and blow bubbles out your nose. Then you turn it to the side, and you're like. <gasps> And then you have to splash your face back in the water and blow it out again. I hated that. What? Did you ever take swim lessons? Oh, boy, swimming. Have I ever told you that... You don't love swimming? Well, no, I told you that, but <laughs> that... Well, I, uh, 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 like, drowned one time. Maybe that yeah. has something to do with that. But, oh, definitely. Um, almost drowned. Didn't really drown. How old were you, I'm, though? Uh, just a few years. But well, I, drowning I, doesn't I, mean I, dying from drowning, oh. I think. Like... I, I, well, not, not dying. I, I didn't drown. I just, like, fell into, like, a, like in a river. Mm -hmm. Like, there was a deep hole. I took a step, and then there was a bloop. I was gone. And wow. if my father didn't see it, I would be dead. Um, Jeez. But uh, it was also winter, which was great. It's great to fall, like, full oh. body into cold water. Anyways, I don't know if that's the reason why I dislike swimming, but I had the that's hardest time... To learn how to swim, just the fa like frog stroke, like my yeah. brain was not comprehending this. Similar to like using a clutch in a car, like my brain was not willing to understand how a goddamn clutch worked. It was it, it took so long. I had so many hours of driving lessons. Hey, me too. I still don't know how to drive stick. I mean, I know how theoretically to drive stick. I know what you're supposed to do, but the problem is every car is different. Well, yes. And it's like if you if you only ever got used to driving one car, 
uh, it, like with an automatic, it's like, okay, sure, the acceleration might be different, the turn radius might be different, but everything else is the same. But with a clutch, it's like the sweet spot's totally different, like the point where you're supposed to let go of the, you know, let go of the brake and start accelerating. I just, I can't. <laughs> I'm awful. Yeah, I'm one of those garbage humans that can't drive a, a, a manual. No, I mean, that doesn't make you a garbage human. I could if I really had to, if, yeah. it, was, if it was like emergency. emergency, but I would grind the shit out of that gearbox. Eh. And it would be very loud and jerky. <laughs> well, you would get used to it, I guess, eventually. Probably. But, yeah, I know what you mean. Now, I it took me forever to learn how to swim. Like my parents, like hired a friend that took me to like the um, local swimming pool yeah. and did like all kinds of stuff with me, and I just didn't learn it. Eventually, okay. I went to a. Uh, special program for, I guess, dumb fucking kids that can't <laughs> swim. Heavy ass kids who can't float. <laughs> yeah, just just the worst of the worst. And, you know, they were, I guess, specialized on that and it was in the hotel and whatnot. And then eventually I learned how to swim. Still don't like it. Were there ever things you excelled at, though, where you took a class and the teacher's like, wow, you're good at this? Ang- English. Yeah, that's true. You yeah. uh, you do have a, a knack for English. That that um, was like the on, one of the only classes, and of course, computer class on compu- uh, in school. But honestly, like like computer science classes in in regular school for like someone who's like somewhat nerdy are just super simple. That doesn't mean like you have like a natural knack for electronics or or computers. It's just it was just very simple stuff. Yeah. And, but no, for English, definitely. That oh was, yeah. That was always my my fun one. Anyways, I think it's a good time to end it here. I get, I mined 26 blocks of obsidian and nice. died a few times nearly. That's all right. Well, that's about it. Um, but yeah, I hope well, I you guess guys if, uh, enjoyed having Lauren around. I guess if you people around. want more of me, just like, you know, let's you spend now. You people. You people. Just these people. No. You weird anonymous people <laughs> that are real people, oh, yeah. but it doesn't feel like it because it's just a number on the view counter, which is I, very strange when I you had think that, about it. I had that talk, or I had that talk, yeah, I had that talk with my with my, with my my comment section. No, I talked about <laughs> that with my comment sec in my, I talked about that in a video about my comment section that, yeah, all of those numbers, if you like, yeah. imagine being in front of like a thousand people that is so different yeah it's a whole human yeah (laughs) and then a thousand of them yeah Yeah. it's weird like you just you just remove from that imagine being like a markiplier and you have three million people watching your videos and that's like i don't know uh 20 like 60 50 thousand stadium full of people watching your video you cannot imagine like that's just not feasible you are removed from that just definitionally that's just Anyway, anyway, if y'all motherfuckers want me to come back. Yeah, they're going to be like, know. man, I just, I wish Lauren would come back for another episode. Next time I'm going to, when you're back, I'll show you all the cool things and not just, I'm not going to take you into just like a damp, Oh, dark, I don't care. I'm not, cave. I mean, I'm blind. I can't really tell what's <laughs> going on anyway. And <laughs> Lauren isn't blind. I just, I'm vision impaired. Well, Shitty you, need, go- you need glasses. I yes. do. Yes. That's a conversation for another time. Thank you for watching. My, Thank you. My butt's sweaty. <laughs> is that a good spot? That's the best spot to be sweaty. Oh, Bye-bye. no, I was going to say, is that a good spot to cut it? Just my butt's sweaty. Bound. 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 Bound.